And if you think that this walk down the comeback trail was planned by Mr. Cassidy, well, you'd be wrong, because he joins us now live to tell us it was all a fluke. It was indeed. Um, in fact, I, I um, on my birthday about a little over a year ago, a couple of uh, very outrageous disc jockeys in Los Angeles were winding me up on the radio saying, you know, David Cassidy's probably got, he's enjoying the good life, you know, got a couple of girls, no doubt, drinking champagne, eating caviar. So I decided I would call them on their bluff, and I, I picked up the phone, and uh, I convinced the uh, girl at the switchboard it was me. I got on the air, and I, I started making some sort of irreverent comments about Keith and about myself and saying, uh, yeah, you know, I, I played da a homeless David Cassidy. So they, they invited me down to the studio, and um, I told them that I had just finished making a movie, and I... I brought a couple of demos that I had been working on, uh, that, I'd been, that I'd written. For other people? Yeah. In fact, um, none of the songs I brought with me ended up on my album. They ended up, one's on the Asia album that's out right now, and uh, one is going to be recorded by Cher on the next album. So, <laughs> make a long story even longer, I, I got on the show for uh, three hours. The response was amazing. The phones went crazy. There were like a hundred people out in the parking lot. And at the end of the three hours, I, from playing these three eight-track demos, I had three separate offers from three different record companies. Now, it's kind of the stuff that dreams are made of. It's practically unbelievable, except yeah. that I know it's the truth. Yeah. Is there a downside to this dream of, about finding success again? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. It's too early on in the game. Um, I did an in-store today in New York here, the first one of my entire recording career, and they said it was the largest crowd they had ever had. They had 1,600 people. So. Uh, you know, to be welcomed back like that um, on the release of my first album in 12 years, it's pretty amazing. I'm, st I'm still living the crest of it. You know, it's so new to me again that um, I don't know if there's a downside to it. People, I think, want to want to compare me to the way it was, the way it used to be. Now, and you said about the way it used to be that 90% of it you embrace with open arms, but 10% of it... What was the 10%? The 10% is, um, <laughs> is the quote, David, former teenage idol, Cassidy. Um, I can't shake that stigma. Somehow or another, that, it's, it's around my neck like an albatross. Kind of like I have to do something really awful, like become a serial killer. So they'll say, David, former ser serial killer, Cassidy. All right, very quickly, what do you want to be in those parentheses? David, blank, blank, blank. David, boy. What a hell of a guy, Cassidy. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm putting a label on me is really difficult. One that I'm, I'm ne never good at. I think, whew, thank God he's back. You know, one of those would be just fine. Um, it really is great to be back. And um, thank God the record's doing so well and it's out this week. Okay, one label we don't have time to talk about is your continuing acting career. Movies opening on Monday. Yeah, that's right. The Spirit of 76. I'm going to the opening in L.A. It opens, I think, the rest of the country probably uh, late in the fall. David, thanks so much. Thank Come you. back and see us again with another play.